do so it's a pretty long game I guess okay I won't look I don't know who's winning uh, I'm clicking on the replay and there you go I'm in game I don't know who won let's go guys show player take off the bracket and we're ready so we have on this map this beautiful map what is this map a sec gotta reveal them all ah this one with the high ground nice nice turtle map love this map so spawning on the left side it is the red player of everything in red oh i just said he's in red uh deli player and on the right side it's the blue player husky 6468 is playing abbasid okay so did both this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me because both sieves uh, are kind of unfamiliar to me i don't play either of these these sieves i would love to have a cold caster right now but uh, i don't i don't know when they will be ready i'd love to have someone to explain their sieves for me so yeah and it, it is a 40 minutes game so we'll see i'll try to my best ability to explain or to 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 cast what's going on well uh, let me just read the chat a little bit as well oh unlucky you're still building your castle and stuff i haven't played for quite a while no one was there for five days Ah, uh, yeah yeah I was like kind of I don't know what to do there anymore all I do is logging and mine some uh, diamond that's all I do in Minecraft um, I don't I haven't seen Lily playing so I guess people are not playing because she's not streaming it oh yeah sure James hop on uh, Yeah, people like to joke about the wall. You know. Let's just leave it as a joke and not go into the politics. Uh, what's your name? Are you? You're not James Cordray, are you? Because I have uh, I have a um, we have the casting channel specifically for casting Dark Prismarine, I don't even know what that is. Okay, uh, we have to look at a game, right? Oh, right, it's. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. I keep messing up stuff. Alright, an announcement is taken off. Great. Brilliant. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the ma uh, the the game itself. We've been chit chatting about other stuff for a while. Okay. So Veriding is building uh, his la first landmark right now, Dome of the Faith. So he can research stuff. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I know. He can research or he can produce scholar. I have no idea what they do. Uh, while Husky is mining stone, okay, that's a good indicator that he's probably gonna go for a second TC, fast expand, uh, more greedy macro build. I like it. Uh, that's uh, my typical build order. Especially on this, you know, on this map, you can easily wall off, which is pretty good for macroing, for uh, just sit back and uh, booming. So yeah, I like that choice. Uh, Verding, on the other hand, 
is not going for the stone. I don't see. Yeah, the stone is is here. He's not going for the stone. Uh, he's aging up pretty fast again with the seven villagers. So I don't think it's very efficient. Usually you want like a three, four villagers uh, on the landmark only. And uh, yeah, mm. let's see the worker count. Birding has 18. Husky has 17. Not a huge difference. Uh, all right, another thing about Abbasid I, that I know is that Abbasid, they have this bonus for worker production. I think they have to get cheaper workers when they get to second TC or something or some landmark. Oh my God, I, I have, I'm completely ignorant about the, uh, the thing. Okay, James Corder is, uh, is here. Can you just join the, can you join casting channel? I'm already in the, in the channel, so it'd be very convenient if you can just join the casting channel. There you go. Hey, James. Husky is here to watch his own game as well. Nice. Good to have you here, Husky. <laughs> yeah, he can answer questions. Brilliant. Uh, James, I can't hear you. Hello? Are you... Hello? Let me check Discord. Just in case. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, it's not muted. Wonderful. Because last time I muted my Discord. Perfect. What minute is the game? I'm at 6 minutes. 6 minutes, 20 seconds. Don't one of those sieves get extra gold from holding a landmark? Uh, I have no idea. There is the uh, HRE that gets extra gold from uh, from relics, putting relics in their cathedral. Oh wow, look at this. Verdi is doing his uh, forward war, war thing again. Yeah, he sure loves it, the war. He, he, he's trying to contain his opponent here. It's all choice though. Like So early you want to war your opponent in. I want to see what's going to happen in this game. Interesting choice, but you, know, you can tear down the wall pretty fairly fast if you just build a few uh, spearmen. Abbasid has pretty strong spearmen as well, so I don't I don't think that's a big problem for for Husky. I need to increase his volume. I actually, don't James? Hello, James. I don't think he's talking. I hear some background noise from uh, from James' side. James, are you there? I can hear your voice. Yes. They're coming out of this. It's connected. Why coming out of this? Yeah, he will hear some background uh, discussion from James' side. Uh, this is uh, Dome of Faith. Okay, he can only build Scholar. I thought he could get research from there. What is this building? Doesn't even show me the name. Mm -hmm. Mosque. Okay, let's see the wall. I'm curious about this wall. <laughs> this one layer is not enough. He's going to build double layer wall. Wow. Everything's really... Really eager to wall his opponent in. I don't know what the exact plan is. Probably to get the sacred site. But yeah, this is getting more creative, I would say. <laughs> it's getting more uh, interesting. Husky's got some uh, uh, horsemen going on the map. Nice having some. Uh, Map control is always nice, and uh, everything sending across some uh, archers. Archers are not going to do very well against the horsemen. But if he managed to complete the wall, though, if he managed, can they build a wall? Can archers complete the wall? Are you kidding me, right? The archers can build a wall. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I thought it's just spearmen. Okay, a little bit of skirmish here. Small amount of units fighting each other. Archers versus archers. One horseman in the mix. Also, there's a scout from Abbasid as well. And uh, Husky is gonna clean up, clean up this little archer squad. And more units are coming. This time with the more mix. I think uh, I figured it out. Oh, you're back. Hello. Nice, nice. I'm at 10 minutes exactly. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Now there's a doubling going on. I have no idea why. I don't hear it. Okay. okay, right now a lot of actions happening actually. A lot of small skirmishes everywhere. Okay, eventually Verding is gonna complete the wall. Husky has got some uh, horsemen across the map doing some damage. Force Veriting to pull back some spearmen. You gotta run away from the spearmen though. They're gonna die so quickly to the spears. And uh, archers are again uh, doing very annoying thing on this side of the map. Hey, what minute are you at now? I figured everything out. 11 minutes. 11 minutes, okay. I'm at 11.03. 11.03, yeah, that's perfect. I'm at like uh, 13 seconds, 14 seconds. Okay, Veritin is yep, building yep. a lot of wall. Look at this. It's walling everywhere. Yeah, it looks like Veritin went over to Husky's base and is, like you said, walling him in. Yeah. Hill and Dale, it's going to be really easy to do. Yeah, yeah. But I've now, never Abbas seen... Abbasid player, he's went up, he got his House of Wisdom up and it does look like he went into the... Do, do, do... He didn't go mil or did he go military? Nope. Economic wing? Yeah, it looks like he went economic wing. Now what that does is that gives you fresh food stuffs. That's the big Abbasid technology. Abbasid can make a second town center probably easier than most. And oh, that's yes. due to that, that fresh one. food stuffs. Mm -hmm. Half price villagers. Yes. So that's usually gonna be the play on Hill and Dales to open that two T C opening. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting for him to drop the TC though he's got 344 stones in the bank. Not enough wood just yet. Maybe he's going for age up first. For me that's and he is and he's investing a lot of this 2 TC wood into towers, just so that shows, you know, Veridin just being super annoying with those walls. Yeah, yeah, definitely distracting forcing, him a lot. Forcing a reaction out of the opponent. Yeah, exactly. Veridin is taking his first secret site, taking advantage of their daily extra gold. Let's take a look at our, let's take a look at our daily player. See what we've got going on. Looks like all of his religious texts. Do, do, do. Nope. Uh, he's man, big mistake here. He's got a lot of these on pause, not even in the middle of researching. Um, it does look like he's got Sanctity, though. As far as economic upgrades, he's got Wheelbarrow. Let's see if he's got... And he's got some Tier 1 Mining and Wood Chopping upgrades. And again, we've got those Red Spears over on Husky's base, just being super annoying with those walls. Yeah, he's going to tear down he the wall. He in. Oh. He's gonna get in. That's uh, for sure. Let's see how now much Baird damage he can do. Now Spears looks like got one of these scholars over here toward the middle of the map. The spears look like they've made it through the wall of Husky, and they're just kind of gonna hang out there for a minute. But here comes ooh, a lot of villagers. Nope, those are archers. Yeah, they're archers. He's going to want to pull those back and try his best to kite those. They're Remember, archers are going to do extra damage versus these spearmen. Yeah, they're going to do pretty well. Spears. Archers should be winning this fight pretty easily still. With a little bit of micro. Sure. By the way, the 
the scholar in the middle of the map disappeared from Meridian because he was taking the sacred side just a minute ago. He actually ago. got killed. Got by killed. Some spears I see. of Veridin. I missed that. Yeah, Husky Scholar went down from these four spears coming up through the middle of the base. Okay, this spearman didn't didn't do any damage actually. That was like a twenty spearman. It's just uh, got yeah, this was not a had to run this away. was not a fight Veridin should have taken. He sure loves spear. Especially spearmen. once he's. Once he saw this archer mass, uh, he probably should have backed off. Yep. But again, these walls, you know, he did a lot of damage with these walls. You might think, why did he do a lot of damage? Well, it forced him to not only play, uh, build military units, but it forced him now to research siege engineering, drop a blacksmith, build four, a 300 resource battering ram just to take out this, you know, 25 wood section of wall here. Yeah. So it's such a big return on investment. And also, is it very easy for the daily players to build a wall because their spearmen can build a wall. Their archers can build a wall. Exactly. So it doesn't really take their villagers off the economy. Sure. Husky's sitting on 39 bills. How's Veridin doing? Oh, Husky said, Abbasid gets CG Engineering for free. Ah, yes, thank you. You're yeah. right, Husky. I appreciate that. That's pretty cool. You're right. Forgot about that. They can also build in the field with their units, the Abbasid. Uh, they can build the Manganel, I believe, mm -hmm. as well. All the, on the siege field. weapons. And the Spring Old, yeah, looks like Battering Ram, Spring Old, Manganel, and Siege Tower. Abbasid can build from the field. They don't need like an advanced siege engineering like a Mongols might need to be able to do that. Yeah. And these archers, there's just a way bigger mass. Tower, archers, yeah, this is going to be an easy cleanup for Husky. Alright, so the now work behind counts. this. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, the worker count right now. Husky has got 42. And Veriding has 44. Very, very even. Very even. Now that's... You, you wouldn't think that that should be that, considering our Abbasid player is on two TCs. No, has that second TC no. went down. Still hasn't no, built, has because not. the stone is still too 344. Much too much pressure. It looks like he's not going to go. So he did invest in that early age up. Looks like he's in castle now and actually went up with the economic wing and it looks like the culture wing is taken. Culture wings can give you pr preservation of knowledge. That's one of the biggie techs. So it reduces the cost of all your technologies down by 30%. So that's going to be that castle age perk from the House of Wisdom. Now it looks like the first Lancers of the game coming out here from Husky. Now these are full fat Lancers. These are not early knights. These aren't. These are fully upgraded, ready to go castle unit Lancers. So these, these bad boys pack a punch. 36 damage, 4 ranged, 4 melee armor, 230 health. So these boys are going to tank. What's our deli player up to? Not much. I don't see any significant movement. He's trying to wall off his own base right now. He's got four production buildings currently. He's got men at arms, archers, and lancers coming out for our deli player. As far as Husky is, or for Husky, I'm sorry. Now for our deli player, Veridin, he's not making any units currently. He's got nine production buildings. But you gotta count, you know, the mosque. So realistically, he's got two archery ranges, two barracks. And then, looks like he's gonna be aging up to the castle age, finally catching up to Husky here. Nine, he's got going down with Compound of the Defender. Alright, now, uh, Husky is putting on some counter pressure with his Mongo now on the map, moving across. And a ram working on the wall. It's gonna break through. Potentially. Uh, Manganel 
you're gonna need some kind of shield in front of it. You're gonna need some kind of meat shield, whether that's knights yeah. or spearmen or something. You want to keep that Mangonel protected. Those spearmen took a big hit from the Mangonel. They didn't really target down the Mangonel. That was unfortunate. It could have been a very good opportunity to take down the unprotected Mangonel. Sure. Here but with these archers, these archers, archers are going to have an easy job yeah. picking off those spears. Especially with that Mangonel behind. The Husky can do a lot of damage. To That's a lot of archers, archers coming from Husky. With the Mangonel. Doesn't look like he's got any plus ones yet, though. So, you know, these have no armor. No pierce armor, no melee armor. Another second Mangonel. Yeah, second Mangonel is ready to go. What's and, your thoughts uh, on this? Mangonels versus trebuchets in trebuchet. Castle League for, bu for buildings. Uh, trebuchet is better, but it's you so think? immobile. I'm just purely against building. Uh, trebuchet is better, but it's so immobile, it's very impractical. You, if you're... I've had luck actually massing Mangonel for buildings in Castle Age. Now, you have to make sure, again, you have a nice meat shield in front of them. Yep. But, you know, six Mangonels will take out a building or a wall fairly quickly. Yeah, you have six, of course. Here comes the uh, <laughs> Deadly Elephant. He's gonna drop away those Mangonels. They don't have heavy damage output. Archers are not gonna do much damage to the Elephant. No. So I those Elephants have 960 health. The only thing with that much health is the that's Chinese crazy. Bombard. Yeah, that's crazy. Elephants OP. Uh -huh. right, he has to turn around. He's, he's, uh, he has to build crossbowmen and spearmen to counter this. Yeah, spearmen do really well actually against these elephants of the Delhi. Those men at arms, they're not going to do quite as well as the spear would. There's you a want to get raid? up in there and pierce that. There's a raid happening. Uh, Husky got sn snuck in some knights in the Baradain's gold line. Killing a lot of workers actually. It looks like he's about to take another down. And these are Castle Age Lancers, so they're gonna have four and four as far as pierce armor. So you know when this they can actually dive under this town center. They're only taking two damage a pop from these arrows. You know, so they can, yeah, they can, they can tank under the town center a little bit more so than like a horseman, a spearman, or Definitely. really any other unit. I'm a couple minute arms from Some Baradun. skirmish in the middle of the map during Husky's retreat. Oh, finally he took down that elephant, so he's gonna turn the tide of this fight. Husky's gonna feel good about that. Getting that elephant off the field, yeah. And now it looks like he's gonna finish this mangonel he's got built. Again, the Abbasid, they can build those mangonels right in the field. Yeah, that's Such a so huge convenient. advantage. Yeah. It's one of the few things that they've got going for them. But it is nice to see Abbasid played and represented here in our tournament today. Can't say I thought that they would get picked. Do you play Abbasid yourself? Uh, not very often. It's probably my least played Sev, to be honest. I've never played a single Abbasid game. <laughs> it's yeah, it's my them and Roos are the two that I don't play a whole lot. But I still have a, I have a lot of knowledge about both of those Sevs uh, just from watching casts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I have no knowledge at all. <laughs> I don't know what what upgrade they have. It looks like our blue player is pushing in with this battering ram. Mm -hmm. He's got a couple knights, some archers, some men at arms, a spear. He's just got one of everything. It looks like gonna go for a little push here. Veridin tried to get this wall with the stone wall tower up, but yeah, it's too a, late. Didn't have the time to get it. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a workers idling as well, like 14 workers idling in the farmland. That's a pretty bad sign that you are panicking. Mangonel working on the building. Yeah, that Mangonel's behind that wall just doing work. Now, all Husky needs to do is to rally all units across the map. Oh, 
Is that what Husky's doing? Does he have military behind that? And he's just got one Lancer out. Only still six, seven military production buildings. He has brought some barracks forward outside yeah. of his base. Maybe to try and get some map control here, but... Faster reinforcements. Yeah, this is... Yes, faster reinforcements. He needs to just be dropping, like... I don't know, three or four of every other production building right now. Mm -hmm. And yep. going for that death push. He can clearly see he's got such a big military advantage over our Delhi player. I think if he were to push, he could close it out. Yeah, Delhi really needs to get some Sprangles to counter those Mangonels. Otherwise, there's no way he can break this. Sure. There are the three longer you go, The longer you let Delhi continue to go, the worst shape you're going to be in. Uh, you do not want to let Delhi just get their techs in blindly. If you just sit back and let Delhi free boom, it is not going to be good for you. Oh, here comes the sprinkle little... from everything. He's got one sprinkle versus these three. Now that's going to do a lot of work. It doesn't look like Husky sees or notices. Husky is not pulling away. He's got to pull away. Yeah. Just send the spearman in. So take, oh, he's yep, building his own spearman. sprinkle. He could just send in the spearman in. And, uh, yeah, pulling those back. He's going to bring everything back to this little wall. This real convenient wall of Veridans he's using for cover. Here comes the uh, defense. Men in arms get a shot off. This is going to be bad news for Veridan. Missed it. Don't look like you got a stick. Husky is gonna sacrifice all the units to snap the Springles. Yeah, not bad choice. But he has to retreat with the Manganau. Big no. Manganau hit for red. Yeah, that's good, or but he has to turn around. He has to turn around now, otherwise, the Manganau is gonna fall later. No, oh, I was getting more free, free hits. That's nice. Now I expect Veridan to rush in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now that he's cleaned that mess up, but man, did a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. You gotta remember, even if you're not killing a unit with a Manganel, think about it. If you've got 10 hundred health units, you get a two shot, and you bring those 10 units down to 50 health, you've now got 500 health units. So you yeah. essentially take out half your mass in one shot. That's massive damage without taking any of the actual persons out. Right, massive damage. And also it takes up supply, so the quality of the army is significantly lower. You can see that uh, Husky is just making trash units at this point. He's got spears out, mangonels out. Looks like he does have some lancers mixing in, but looks like his comp's gonna be mangonels, lancers, spears for Husky. Bunch of villagers coming out. 29 villagers. Probably was gonna get the gold, but. Now, if I were both players, let's see. We've got some. Uh, so, Delhi's already looking forward to castles, it looks like. Veridan's got some on stone. Husky's got just 44 stone. Uh, do we have any on moment? Nope. So, currently, neither player has any on stone. If it were me, I would probably try and move a few of these food bills over to some stone. Um, that way I could get some for some reinforcing keeps, some map control keeps, things like that. Herding still has 20 workers idling from the farm. That is not good. Where is it's that? It's been end? a while. On the top of his base. Oh, yeah. Wowza. That is a lot of idle villagers. Husky tried to build a sneaky mangonel inside Veridin's space. I got spot spotted. And uh, that was shut down pretty quickly. But that was an uh, interesting like idea. Still gonna, he's just going to be pumping these spring alts out now that he knows kind of Husky's game plan is going to be to go for those mangonels. Yeah. Husky definitely needs to go for his own springles to contest with the counter springles. Oh, it's long distance mining wood. Oops, forgot a uh, lumber camp. 
Looks like he's got those 20 villagers. Nah, now throwing down farms up here to the north. Doesn't look like he's quite... Okay, who are we watching? Husky. Veridan. Yeah, Veridan's got the wood, it looks like, to get most all 20 of these on food. Veridan is not mining wood at all at this moment. Husky has a nice Wild. 30 population lead at the moment. Ooh, huge. 81 versus Veridan's 52. Full military masses. Husky, he's got some spearmen, a mangonel, and a few lancers. As far as Veridan, uh, Veridan's got an elephant, some men at arms, a couple spears. So it looks like both players aren't really trying to build up humongous masses. Looks like both players are going for a little bit of a boom here. We got a relic coming in. A relic, finally. Oh, for Veridan. Now let's look at the relic spawn on the map. It looks fairly fair. We've got one up here to the north, two up here to the north, three. Um, these are going to be a little bit better for Husky, I'd say. Yeah, up closer three, to Husky, yeah. Uh, and then we've got one again over here. So Husky's got the much better map spawn when it comes to the relics. Now, does Husky have down a mosque? He does not look like it. Doesn't look like he's got down a mosque. Only two texts he's used his House of Wisdom for is that fresh food stuff. Uh, duh, duh, duh. and then that preservation of knowledge. He's got double broad X coming in, specialized pick, survival technique, so it looks like he's really going ham on these eco upgrades. Do I idols here for Husky? Here on the wood. I'm a lull here. Both players are going macro focused. And we got a stone wall coming in here from Veridan. He loves his walls, doesn't he? Yeah. There was a little bit uh confrontation. Oh, here. Uh Husky in the bottom. He is uh he's broken the the wooden palisade. So he's gonna get in. Some at least with the lancers. And try to get some worker damage and distract his opponents while building more Mangonel, more siege weapons behind it. But Springles are coming, so that is going to be shut down. He's got 14 spears here working on this Mangonel, but these two Springles are just going to Oh my one. god, yeah. it's Springles. Oh, <laughs> they just walk, <laughs> they walk into the spearmen. Right to their death. So it looks like he wasn't paying attention. He had this fight up here to the north. This little raid with these knights. So that was a great play by Husky to send the knights in, get his APM off of the Mangonel, uh, get these knights killing villagers, Husky distract them, and you can build that Mangonel. Sniped one now, up the yep. scholar. Now Blue's moving up. I was going to say, he needs to be bringing this Mangonel up. There's a lot of villagers that could really do poorly to that Mangonel. Looks like Blue is going for a little push here. Yep. Husky is. Husky's got Lancers in queue. Again, just seven, eight military production buildings. But it looks like he's switched to primarily Lancers. He's got this little contingent of 14, oh, I'm sorry, 24 veteran spearmen. That's gonna do him well. And these veteran spearmen should do decently well against some of these men at arms. He's got a much bigger mass, but with those reinforcing crossbows, might prove to be more difficult. Yeah, and it looks like Red Baird is just going to clean up these spears right here. Meanwhile, Mangonel to the south, kind of picking away at this blacksmith. 
Yeah, he needs to pull away this man now. Oh, one elephant. All right. So everything has Boy, one man. elephant. Working on those barracks in the middle of the map. It's kind of funny. See one elephant stranded there. Looks like he's got scholars in most of his production buildings, so that's really nice, taking advantage of that efficient production. Now, villager count. Looks like Husky's at 86. Veridan sitting on 44, so not looking good for Veridan. The villager count. Yeah. Now, are we going to see a tournament win from the Abbasid? Looks like it. Looks like it. Unless he brings him back. An epic turnaround. What? Now what can Veridan do in this situation? What do you think? Oh well. Keep Sprangles alive and turtle up. <laughs> and he's tried to start that. You'll notice he did try and get these walls in. He's tried to hold, let's give those tacks time to come in. But Husky has just had relentless pressure this last half of the game. Husky oh, look at this. Up. We have got a little, we've got a little proxy coming in yep. from Husky. Very cool. Through got barracks. some forward siege. Some Through forward siege. barracks. Mm -hmm. We've got bombards moving out. I didn't even miss. Husky's in the fourth age yeah. here. Baradin's nice still stuck in castle. What did he go up with for that fourth age? Looks like culture, economic, military are the three that he went up with. Yeah. Okay, this could be the final push. He just needs more military units. Now his bombards are left unattended. They're going to be very vulnerable to those crossbowmen as well. It's like he's going to try and focus down some the town center with those bombards. I can't imagine he's not going to just try and snipe the landmarks at this point. You can see he's got a much... But as we say that, we've got three Springholds rolling in. They should do a decent job one-shotting these bombards. Now, Four Springholds even. Four, right. Yeah. Now looks like they're gonna clear out both of these. Yep. Now what he should have done is he had villagers up here building, so we know that villagers are here. He should have pulled those back like he's doing, exactly like he's doing. And now he's, let's hope we can see him pull these bills forward to try and repair that. Now to, I think the big problem for Husky is that he's not building a mass army, he's sending small group of troops with expensive siege weapons forward, one at a time. So he's losing all those units uh, with a pretty bad trade. Baradon has a natural defender's advantage. I mean, like you said, he's turtled up, he's in base. He's going to be able to supply reinforcements to the field quicker, which is why our uh, blue player Husky here has got this proxy base. This is really smart. Yeah. Now, had we decided to go stone earlier when we mentioned it, you know, these four villagers could be doing more than just standing here. They could be building keeps. Um, I think Definitely. with a strategic enough military units and a strategic enough push, um, we could get a few keeps down in the opponent's base. He's still in third age, so if he wants to get rid of it, he's got to make sure it's or get to the fourth age. Now, Veridan, how close is he to age? It looks like mm, not very. Yeah, it's a small bank. Forty-nine bells versus Husky's ninety-five. So Husky continues to build on that villager lead and now we've got these four bills going down on this stone right here this is smart i like this play but again we thought it was over for veridin but we watch as veridin's mass builds he's got 27 crossbows now in your experience how is the matchup between spear versus crossbow 
Spear should be a counter to crossbow, but not in this number. Look at them just melt to the crossbow. And I've always noticed in my experience that Spear's more going to be a light counter versus a hard counter. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. You're going to have to have mass. If you can get up on top of the crossbowman, you're in a lot better situation. Yeah, they're better than men at arm because they don't take extra damage from the crossbowmen. Now, I wonder why our red player Bearden has not decided to build some mangonels for himself. He sees that this composition coming from Husky is primarily spearmen, yeah. some knights, things that could really get smoked by a couple mangonels. Yeah, that's a little oversight. Well, it looks like Husky's Ooh, going forward. The oh, big shot. mangonel shot. He has two Mangano's elephants fuck. coming as well. Spearman we is two gonna bombards rolling in from Husky as well. So Husky's, he's holding really well here. He is floating a ton of gold. I think Husky just yeah. needs to sell at least half of that. Buy food, buy wood. Yeah, I want uh, and uh, then start producing some counter units. Yeah, I'd love to see him building uh gold units, men at arm, knights, lancers. Instead yes. of spamming only spearmen. Now the spearmen do do well against the elephants, so I can understand that potentially, but yeah, yeah. I think he needs some beefier units mixed in here. Yeah, the thing is, he could, he could produce much more, but he's not producing. Baradon did make that treb that we talked about, and slowly going to town on these front barracks. Those bombards are going to make pretty quick work of that trap. Unless these knights get on top of it. You got to be careful here. Fear's taking out those knights easily. So. Angle is a little bit awkward. He has to get in the He's wall. Gonna... Yeah, snipe that with the spearman. Push. Oh, and GG was caught. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh, couldn't defend multi, multi front. Assault is, uh, yeah. GG. Game to both players. Winner, Husky. Congratulations, Husky. Yeah, congrats, Husky. Nicely played. Thank you again, man. I will be back on here in a few. All I'll right. Off for now. Thank you. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Lots of fun. I'll see you later. Later. Nice, nice. The early game was pretty interesting there. Where Verdin built a wall. That was unexpected. Uh, but uh, except for delaying Husky's build a little bit, I don't I don't 